for watching Amber Prop Designs. I'm really excited to show you uh, this video today because I wanted to try something completely different. I wanted to try the Elmer's glue that was glow in the dark. This is something that's new out there. There does have some glitter on there so I'm not sure if that will show up or not but I just wanted to test it. I bought a yellow and a blue and so there's a few things that I'm looking for today when I'm doing this. I'm gonna mix my artist loft white yellow, blue, and red. I'm gonna mix the blue with the blue, the yellow with the yellow, and then I'm also gonna just try to add the red and white to see if it changes its color. And does it change its color while it's wet? And then does it go to the original paint color once it's dry? So I have a lot of questions, a lot of things that I'm excited to see what will happen. And last but not least, will it also glow in the dark? So I'm really excited to see how this is gonna work. Now, as you can see, this pouring medium is actually quite thick compared to other mediums or the other glue that we've used in the past. So I'm gonna have to see what we're gonna have to mix to get it a good fluidity. So I was just gonna do these pouring medium and just stir them before I even started taping, but this is so interesting. It's not really, it's, look it, it kind of like looks like marshmallow. <laughs> so it's really not doing too good to even mix it at all. This is just with the white and I used yellow in it. It is so thick. Um, so once you mix that white in, or sorry, once you mix that water in, it does have a bit of fluidity and then it just starts to gum up right away again. Um, so I'm not sure if this test is even gonna work. Uh, so we will have to keep seeing and I might even just end up adding a bit of Floetrol because maybe that will help. So I'm gonna, I used my yellow in here and with the white, um, you can't see any glitter either. It's completely covered and it's kind of what I figured but thought I'd try. Uh, this is the same thing. It's funny because with the white Elmer's glue, it worked so amazing. Uh, this is turning almost like a goop. Super weird. <laughs> and because I noticed it was like this goopy and hard to work with, I just changed my canvases because I really don't want to wreck a brand new canvas. I'm going to add some Floetrol to this yellow because it seems to be turning out the same as the white. And maybe I'll just give a little bit of fluidity and it might then maybe make this more archival. Oh, that seemed to really help actually. Wow. What a difference. What a difference that made. Okay, I'm gonna add just a touch more glue so I can kind of load up more. It's so thick, you guys. <laughs> I thought really for sure water would have worked, but it doesn't seem to. Uh, so the Elmer's glue, especially this one, is not archival, um, which means that over time, and not immediately, over time, it could start to become discolored from UV rays or anything like that. I explained that in my first pouring, 10 pouring medium video. You can see the link above. Now adding more of that has caused so many chunks. <laughs> I'm really not having a good time here. <laughs> I never had any chunks when I was working with the white, but adding that additional amount of the glue, it's starting to clump more and more. So I'm gonna just kind of leave it. I'll come back to it, but I wanna see how the other ones are gonna set up. Like I said, normally I do and like to just skip this part because it I don't want you guys just to get bored, but it just doesn't seem to be doing what I hoped it would actually. It's changing it slightly purple in some spots, uh, but not too much. And same thing, super thick. Add our Floetrol. And I'm not gonna add any more uh, glue to this one. I feel like that's where I start to have problems with that yellow, so there. Nice fluidity, still pretty thick 
You can feel it super thick in some spots. Oh boy. Yeah, you don't have a lot, a lot of time to sit and chat, so we better get this guy going. <laughs> and I just wanted to try a flip cup today. I did, in my tempering video, I did use the All Elmer's glue, and I wanna show you the before and after pictures. It was kinda crazy. It went from looking like a completely different painting once it was dry. And if you're looking for any of these products, you can check out my Amazon store. The link is below. And if you wanna message me, ask me any questions, I'm also at Amber Prop Designs at Facebook and Instagram. And remember to hit subscribe. You'll be the first to get notifications of any of my new videos. Any paintings that I do sell on Amber Prop Designs, a portion of all painting sales goes to Crohn's and Colitis and Mental Health Research. So thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate it. You are helping many people. And if you do ever use the link below to my Amazon store, a commission comes to me at no additional cost to you to help me create these videos. And I'm not really surprised. I've heard when people have used glitter in the past that it has kind of got soaked into the paint or fallen to the bottom. So I'm not surprised we can't see the glitter in this one. But I think how cool would it be if it would still glow in the dark? That would be amazing. The yellow, although you might not be able to see it, maybe you will, it has a slight tint to yellow. It's not necessarily yellow, it's that look of when you have that glow in the dark kind of, say you have a paint or something like that. The red is working really good. And I'm excited to do a flip cup because as I showed you in those pictures, it was really crazy. All the cells seem to pop. So if we can get like an astronomical amount of cells in here, that would be amazing. guys so here is the end result now the great thing about using that Elmer's glue 
which I have heard a lot of people have problems with glitter showing up after. And I'm not sure if you can see it on the canvas, but there is quite a bit of glitter showing through the paint, which is excellent because I've heard when people have added glitter to their paint in the past, it just really sinks to the bottom and doesn't show up. So I'm really happy to say that it does. But the real question is, does it glow in the dark? Like we hope. So I put this towards the light for several minutes and we're gonna test it right now. And unfortunately it does not glow in the dark. So it is too bad that it doesn't glow in the dark, but it does look really awesome. It turned out really great. You can see all of the colors that we've used in it. And I'm really hoping you guys can see some of that glitter, but I'm not sure if you will be able to, unfortunately. Just in the distance, you can kind of see it right here. It's not overtaking the painting by any means, but I really do like that it shows up. Like I said, a lot of people have experimented in the past and it does not work out for them. So this is one way to get that glitter in there. And I'm super excited that we found this way out. Well, thanks so much for supporting the channel. And if you have any questions, definitely comment below. Have a great day guys and just go with the flow.